you just miss those fab musicals back in the days with Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire. Now they knew how to dance. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling I'm... I'm singing in the rain. It's been a while since I've put tap shoes on, so let's see if I can tap my way back into talent. What a glorious feel, and I'm happy again. It's time to tap these twinkle toes in a tap drum session with Mina. Mina Lechoni, a native New Yorker, may sound and look like she's from the Sopranos, but here in Dubai, she's a comedian and a stomp veteran. And today, Mina is here to teach us the basics of rhythm tap and body beats. She's going to be introducing me to a whole lot of steps, like the shuffle, the slide and the jig, tricks and taps that they started doing over a hundred years ago on street corners and outside clubs in New York. Turn around. And then we'll add it in. With a happy refrain. Well, I've certainly rediscovered my happy feet, and now I'm not just chasing the beat, I'm making the beat too. Dancing. These are running for laps. Now, you were in stomp for a few years, so has being in that inspired your class today? Yes, I originally had learned strict, more Broadway style of tap dance, and then after being in stomp, I learned about drumming. So my style kind of combines traditional tap dancing with more body percussion and different rhythms. So it absolutely inspired me to go to the next level with my tap dancing. That was the inspiration, absolutely, to just discover music and everyday objects, using your bodies in different ways, finding the different tones, the, the differences in sounds between your thighs, your belly, your hands, different ways of clapping along with the tap dancing. But you have to have some rhythm, though, to start in the first place. Well, I believe that we all have a heartbeat. So we all have rhythm. It's just about fine-tuning it and getting your rhythm together with somebody else's. And when do your classes take place? My classes take place on Saturday mornings from 11 to 12 noon. I kind of think you need to start this kind of dance quite early on in life, you know, five or six years old, like you. But um, do you, or can you just... I think that you can start at any time. I have one woman who's 60 years old, and she said that it was always her dream to tap dance, and she's doing fabulous. It just takes passion, desire, and commitment. You see, I've got these tap shoes on now, and I just want to tap my way home. I just can't walk normally. It's just, I love the sound. Yeah, they're happy feet. It makes your feet happy. In the beginning, tap dance was derived from African slaves coming over to America, and they had no instruments, so they used their bodies as an instrument. Years later, people decided to start putting bottle caps on the bottom of their shoes in New Orleans and started a new Coke bottle tap dancing phase. Then in the 1920s, vaudeville was alive and kicking. Two hours later, Mina is still tapping. And as you can see, I am shuffling, flapping, brushing and tripping the light fantastic. Am I dancing? Feels like it. I'm happy again. Well, now that I've got my happy feet back, I'll be tapping my way into next week. So see you then.